Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Last time we tried to finish Sunny Villa 100% and found we couldn't, because you need access to this kangaroo character here, and it looks like you have to finish her level first, which is over there. So we've gotten everything we can, but we're going to have to come back once we've done that. So we're going to go do this first, and then we're going to head back over that way. Uh, I don't really know what to expect. Again, this is the first time I've played this game, so this is all new stuff, but, uh, we'll see. Hmm. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Hi, Sheila. While you were gone, a bunch of rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Oh, I'm playing as Sheila. Okay. Okay, there's multiple playable characters in this game. Uh, let me see. Uh, I can kick uh, with both the A button and Y button to kick, they do the same thing. Uh, I can look around. I'm not very quick. Unlike Spyro, I can't charge, but I can double jump, so that's interesting. Uh, okay, okay. Let's, let's see how we do here. Do you have something interesting to say? Oh, you're just teaching me that I can do a double jump. Yeah, I know. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, you get like a triple jump sort of thing, it's interesting. If you do the air hop and then like jump again, it's interesting. It's, it's it's a little confusing. You gotta make an omelet out of a dragon egg. Hmm. I feel like Spyro wouldn't like that. Okay, so this is a full size level, but you play as a different character. Interesting. Um. Okay, and Sheila can do that, the um, head bash move that Spyro has, but she does it with her feet because she's a kangaroo and that's what kangaroos have, they have feet. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty accurate, like, not even joking. <laughs> that is a pretty decent jump she's got there, my goodness. In terms of combat, she's not great. Like, the kick is alright, but you've got to get real close. Spyro's fire's got a bit more range, and he can also charge. Uh, which seems a little more helpful. This was all really late game stuff in Spyro 2, getting stuff that you had to head bash. It's interesting that they put it in right near the beginning in this game. I don't know if they thought it was like the most popular part of the previous game or something. Gem, 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 gem. It's the same Sheila's not wearing the sunglasses that uh, Spyro was wearing, that would have been cool. She can swim? I wonder if she can dive. I don't know if there'll be any water we can actually dive in, so we might not be able to find out. Oops, wrong button. Eh. 
Okay, she can just kick all these open because she doesn't use flames in the first place, so things being flame-proof does not affect her in any way. Ow. I'm not sure why Sparks is here to protect her. Like, Sparks is Spyro's buddy. It's helpful, because, you know, otherwise she'd probably die in one hit, like Spyro does, but... Kind of weird that they didn't come up with a different health mechanism for different characters. That's less, you know, tied to how this particular character works. Can I break the house or something? Doesn't look like it. They just keep respawning out of the houses. Oh, hang on. Hang on, they're like mushroom houses. What if I... Haha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take that with your houses in my house area. Only I can have a house. Oh dear. <laughs> well, even with the air hop, she does not have very much horizontal momentum. Uh, compared to Spyro's Glide, she's, yeah, not very uh, mobile in the air. She can jump much higher, which is pretty cool, but in terms of mobility, yeah. She's got problems. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's get that butterfly. That'll heal up Sparks and it'll give me extra life, which is... See, like, she has very little uh, horizontal momentum when you do a jump in midair. There are vehicles? Oh my goodness, what is happening in this game? There's all sorts of stuff. Can I go in the house? No. Can I go on the house? If I pause and go uh, options, controls, uh, move list, Sparrow, Sparks, flying, toggle character, Sparks, Sheila, jump, air hop, double jump, B after landing. Okay, stomp smash, yeah, pretty much the moves I've already been using. Looks like there's a lot of characters in this game, my goodness. Is there anything up here or is there like no reason to go there? Doesn't look like it. Uh... Yeah, doesn't look like there's any reason to go up there, but which is probably why you can't really go up there. So, hmm. What are you talking about? I already did it. <laughs> Dude, I already did it. Uh, I guess I'll take, take out this one guy and then you'll feel better. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's our house, isn't it? In the middle of our street. Oh, you, you, you had a dragon egg in your house for some reason. Alright. You're welcome, random goat. Um, and that's the exit, so I need to go and do the side path. I thought this was the side path, but it is not. It is the main path. And yeah, Sheila has very little air mobility. Even though she has a double jump, which is interesting. A double jump normally gives you a lot of air mobility. A lot of air control. Like, if you look at a character like um, Madeline Celeste, for example, she has something vaguely akin to a double jump, and that's like the whole mobility of the game, is the fact that you can use that to get pretty much anywhere. Hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. Takes this egg and smash uh, no. No, I'm, I'm not going to smash a dragon egg. Oh, got little glasses. What a cutie. Uh... We're still not done here, are we? Yeah, there's more treasure somewhere. Now 
that direction. Hmm. Yeah, the controls for a big jump are very weird. Um, yeah, I think I'm meant to go around the other way. I'm meant to get the last little bit of treasure. And she can't charge. She's not a great character. <laughs> I mean, she's pretty cool in that she kicked that guy in the face. That, and the obnoxious capitalist guy. That was awesome. Um, in terms of her control, though, I'm not impressed. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This is where the rest of the treasure is. It's hiding in this one easily missable area. <laughs> Basically no air mobility. I guess it doesn't matter too much because of the way the level's designed. The lack of air mobility doesn't really affect you that much, but uh, it, it doesn't feel good to play. Okay, so that's Sheila's Alp done. Um, I guess we played Sheila in the other area that we just discovered. I thought maybe you, you know, you got to ride in a pouch or something. That would make sense in this sort of cartoony game, but I guess you just play as a. Oh, cutscene. The scary sorceress. I warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Oh, thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say. Is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? I mean, she is cute, but Honda, shut up. <sighs> okay. Why is Hunter in this game? I, I, I don't like him. <laughs> uh, let's just go finish off Sunny Villa, and then that'll be this video. Uh, I don't think it'll take long. We did most of this level in the previous video. It should just be basically going to the Sheila area and grabbing the last couple gems. Depends how difficult it is, it might be really hard, in which case it'll take a long time. We'll see. Oh, I keep seeing those frogs and thinking that they're green gems, but they are frogs. <laughs> yeah, you get nothing for defeating an enemy in this game. Unless they, unless, like, you, they haven't got the gem yet. I wonder why they didn't bring back pearls when they changed the enemies back to having gems in them. It's an interesting choice. Yeah, so this portal is now open, so if we go in here, we get to play as Sheila, right? There are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of this tower. Alright. Alas, I have lost my love. She's Okay, so we need to go save Rapunzel. 
And yeah, there's a bunch of gems in here because all the enemies have gems in them and there's probably a bunch of gems lying around. And we have to drop down every time anyway because we don't have gliding or really any air control at all, so... Dropping down to get the gems isn't too much of a big deal. Kind of nice having the tail as part of my gem collecting hitbox. Where am I supposed to go now? Oh, here we go. I feel like the camera should be zoomed a bit more out, I guess, so I can actually see where I'm going to land and stuff like that. It's a, it's a little tricky to make out where the platforms are and where you are and where everything is. Especially considering how high you can jump as, as Sheila. She jumps very high. Oops. Jim, 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 jim. Interesting that this game actually calls that springy jump the, the, a double jump. If you look at um, the options we were just looking at... Sheila, jump is B, air hop is B, B, double jump is B after landing. Which is interesting because Mario 64 calls that a double jump. When you jump again after landing and gain more height. Uh, and no, basically no other game calls it that. And, you know, Mario 64 sort of established the terminology that 3D platformers use, so having another game use the same terminology, uh, even though... What am I saying? You would think Mario 64 would establish that terminology because it basically invented the 3D platformer, uh, and yet it doesn't. And so it's kind of interesting to see another game do the same... use the same term. Oh, there we go, I got those words out in the right order. At least roughly the right order. Uh, this is back to the beginning. Um, how am I doing gem-wise? Not bad, I guess. You don't have a triple jump, though. Every, every jump after the first is still a double jump. Which is a shame. And it's pretty easy to accidentally air hop, because it's the same button. And, you know, Mario doesn't usually air hop, he just double jumps. So you don't run into the problem of them being on the same button as much as you would do in this game. Uh, I think maybe I'm meant to come around here? No, I did this already, didn't I? I'm kind of losing track. Yeah, I went up here already. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this is new. You can tell because there's still a gem here that I didn't already get.
Is that Rapunzel? Yes. <laughs> well, no wonder you're on top of this tower trying to escape from him. Oh, oh, scratchy, scratchy, scratchy little dragon. Okay, uh, let's just grab the last couple gems and we should be done here. Is that everything? 391. Hmm. Sparks is going to go that way. It's so close. What have I missed? Okay. Catching level 100% complete. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's head on out. So yeah, that was uh, Sheila's Alp and Sheila's part of Sunny Sunny Villa as well. Now we're back in Spyro's part of Sunny Villa. So let's finally be able to glide again. God, that lack of mobility is just wild. Uh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Return home. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, uh, I guess we have a look around and see what other parts of Sunrise Spring we can now access. We have a bunch more eggs, so we can probably get into some of those levels that weren't open before. If not, we can do one of the levels that is open, and then we will have enough eggs, because there's quite a few eggs in each level. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs> oh, is something happening? Okay, a cutscene or something? Nope, okay. <laughs> Bye!